Matt, a junior in college, was visiting New York City for Christmas. His grandfather had recently passed away, and he decided that he would spend Christmas with his grandmother this year instead of going home to see his parents in Arizona. When Matt arrived at her apartment, he saw that she was on her way out, and he asked her where she was going. I like to go to daily mass at St. Francis Church on 31st Street. I'll walk you there, Grandma, and wait outside for you. And after mass, we can even go for lunch. Matt, I have a better idea. You walk me to church and come inside for mass, and then we'll go to lunch. My treat. Okay, Grandma, if that's what you want. But you have to understand, I really don't believe in any of this church stuff. I'm in college now, and I know that religion is just human needs and superstition wrapped up into one. I'm glad you have this all figured out, but I want you to meet a friend of mine, a Franciscan friar who works at the church. I think you'll like him. Matt laughed again as he walked up the steps to the church and went inside. After Mass, which to his grandmother's great annoyance, Matt spent mostly looking at his phone, a friar stopped by their pew. Hi, Emily. Good to see you again. Who's this gentleman with you? Brother John, this is my grandson, Matt. Matt, this is Brother John, a wonderful friar and a great guy. It's nice to meet you, sir. Thank you for being here for my grandmother. It's my pleasure. She's a wonderful lady. So, uh, what do you have planned for the week before Christmas, Matt? Well, Matt really has no specific plans except hanging around with me. But maybe you can show him some of the things that the friars are doing. Well, I'm not religious, sir, so I'm not sure I'd be very good company. Oh, I understand. But, you know, I'm not somebody who's going to try to shove religion down your throat, Matt. I just live uh, what I believe, and I'm sure you do too. This is certainly an exciting time for you to be in the city. There's nothing like being in New York at Christmas time. I'm not really into Christmas. I don't believe in the Nativity, or Jesus becoming human, or any of that really. Oh, I hear you, Matt. But, you know, Jesus' birth it didn't just happen 2,000 years ago. It takes place every single day and all of the activity around us. Look, Brother John, I'm sure you're a nice guy, and I really am glad you watch out for my grandma. But all I can say to you is one thing. Prove it. Well, okay, Matt. You give me some time during your visit, and I will prove it to you. In fact, meet me here tomorrow morning at 7 o'clock and we'll go someplace that will truly amaze you. Brother John, you're on. The next morning, Matt met Brother John and the two of them took the train to Philadelphia to St. Francis Inn, a soup kitchen run by the friars. Outside the inn, which is one of the poorest neighborhoods in Philadelphia, a team of friars, sisters, and lay volunteers were all lined up to help feed the poor. Matt muttered to himself, Why are all these volunteers with these homeless people just a few days before Christmas? I'm sorry, what'd you say, Matt? Oh, nothing. Just thinking. Matt was handed an apron and was whisked off to work. Over 250 people would be served a meal at St. Francis Inn today, and Matt was going to be part of that. As he was serving dessert, Matt saw Brother John sitting at a table with a little boy all bundled up in a dirty, disheveled little winter coat. The little boy asked Brother John, Where is Jesus? He's in your heart. And when you do good things, it's like Jesus doing good things. The little boy laughed again and then said to Brother John, No, you're Jesus. He pointed at the friar and giggled again. When you do good things, it's like Jesus is doing good things. Matt had been listening, transfixed to the whole conversation. He saw unmistakable joy in the little boy's face. Amidst all this poverty, pain, and suffering, here was unbridled joy about Jesus that no one could ever take away from him. That night on the train home, Matt found himself asking Brother John some serious questions. 
What was that you were telling that little kid about Jesus? You know, I think you have a very different kind of notion of who Jesus is than I do. Jesus is part of who we are. He lives in us. And the way we make Jesus known to this world is through our actions. When we do something to help another person, we are helping Jesus, who then uh, lives on in other people. I really need to think about this, Brother John. It's a little different than what I've been taught. Just kind of let it sit in your heart, not so much in your head. Think of reasons why you like to help other people, like your grandmother. Why do you come to visit her? You said because she was alone. Well, how does it make you feel to do something good for her? That is Christ working in you. The next day, Matt's grandmother asked him to join her for Christmas Eve Midnight Mass. As they walked to the church, he thought about his grandmother and his experience at the inn the day before and about Brother John's belief that Jesus is at work within each of us when we do good for others. It was confusing to Matt. Could it really be that simple? When Matt spotted his grandmother, he gave her a big hug. Merry Christmas, Grandma. I'm really happy to be here with you. A little surprised by his chipper disposition, she smiled and said, Well, Someone seems to be in the Christmas spirit. After Mass, Matt's grandmother took him over to the nativity scene, where Brother John happened to be talking with some people. Matt's grandmother loved this nativity set. Oh, look at the sweet face of the infant Jesus. Hearing this, Matt took a deep breath and said, Brother John, I'm going to try and see this through your eyes. And when I do that, I don't just see the face of Jesus. I also see the face of the little boy from the inn. Yeah, I know what you mean. And that is how Jesus is reborn every year. If you keep your eyes and your heart open, you will start to see him in faces all around you. As Matt walked out of the church with his grandmother, he stopped and turned back to Brother John. Hey, Brother John, Remember when I asked you to prove Jesus to me? I think you just did. And by the way, Merry Christmas. From all the Franciscan friars, a very Merry Christmas to you and to all of your loved ones. God bless us, each and every one.